mobile web is about extending the open internet platform to mobile. So that's maybe for a lot of people in the world I live in of geeks who you expect to walk into a room like this, it's wonderful, open my computer, and hey, it connects, and I can go anywhere I like. And here on this computer, I can download any program I like. And, every, and quite frequently, I download a new program, it gives me a new experience, it communicates over this internet to other people using that program, and I don't have to ask anybody's permission. I don't have to ask the permission of the people in the room who run this we the website, the, 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 the network. I don't have to ask permission of the ISP. I don't have to go to the IGF or the United Nations and ask, for, uh, and ask permission to run, to, to run this new program over the internet. The, so that is something, the open internet is what a lot of people, the open internet platform is what a lot of people t take for granted. It's what enabled me to designed the web 20 years ago, and it's, we just have to make sure that as we move to mobile, there are, there are various traps which we could fall into in which in the mobile environment, people, uh, there's, people use that, the excuse of that move as a way to bring in something which is closed in some fashion, somewhere way in which either the operators or the phone manufacturers, or both working together, uh, managed, or somebody in between, or government for that matter, try to use, try, try to set up a system so that they have control over who you can talk to. Also, uh, whether they can just spy on what you, who you are talking to, which is also another, uh, another issue.